In this video, I will, I will tell you the uncomfortable truth about Swedish forestry. And it's not, it's not nice. So, uh, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> and that's why I'm, I mean that the Swedish public is kind of fooled into believe this. What I see is that many people get very upset. Hi there, my name is Jonas, if you didn't know that. The Swedish forest law, do you know what that states? The Swedish forest law, it states that nature and production should be in balance. <laughs> so that's, you know, let's, let's have a look at the reality behind that. You see this sign here, here. This sign means that, that back here behind this sign, this white mark, you technically, you commit a crime if you break a twig in here. If you pick a flower or if you break a twig from a living tree, you commit a crime. But if I, let's turn around 180 degrees. Here, here, you're allowed to cut down all the trees. And then you can also, uh, you can pick up the roots. You can collect the, uh, the remaining treetops and branches here for uh, um, incineration. You have to till the soil. If you don't leave trees like this for natural uh, regeneration, you have to till the soil. This means that back here, you can basically destroy, completely destroy the ecology uh, and turn it into a, a farmland, basically. While back here, you are a criminal if you break a twig. So, <laughs> so that's, that's the balance. That's the balance of Swedish forestry, you know. That's man and nature, hand in hand. Let's go and, and uh, talk a bit more over, over a cup of coffee, okay? <laughs> uh, and I'm not against forestry as such. I'm not against that at all. I think we should use the, the resource um, in a good way. But I'd, I also do think that um, the Swedish public is kind of, sadly enough, I think Swedish public is fooled to believe um, something that is not true. Things about forest and forestry, that is not true. The Swedish forest industry is a very powerful uh, force in society. It has very strong links to, um, to politics and it's, it also, uh, you know, it brings in a lot of re revenue to, uh, to Sweden. So, um, it's an important industry, um, money-wise, so to speak. The industry has managed to convince the public that if you cut down the forest, you kind of make, you do nature a favor. It's a favor for the climate. You know, they have managed to link the climate, um, the climate discussion to forestry. Uh, in, uh, oh. And that's why I'm, I mean that the Swedish public is kind of fooled into believe this. And how can I say, how can I say that the public is fooled into believe something? You remember I show you the sign on the tree, that on, on one side of the tree you could uh, you, you are a criminal if you break a twig. But on the other side of the sign, you can uh, 
uh, cut down the entire forest um, and actually do, do a favor, <laughs> kind of do nature a favor. Um, let me explain this to you. What I see is that many people get very upset if you go out in nature, you make a fire, you take twigs from dead twigs from living trees, or you use some uh, some wood for from um, uh, a dead pine uh, tree stump, you know, dead wood. If the, if you go in with machines and do nature a favor by cutting down all the trees, you cannot view yourself as as a criminal by collecting some firewood in the forest. That's what I mean with this imbalance. That since, since people get so upset by this small scale, you know, uh, if you find a pine stump and take some, some wood for your fire, you know, what's the deal? What's the deal if you compare it to what's going on? in 90% of Swedish forests, uh, the large-scale forestry. So I don't really get it. And I think we should, we must rethink that. It's not, it's not, you know, destruction and uh, um, caring about environment. It's, it's, um, we should have respect uh, independent of what we do, and large clear cutting and forest industry that's not respecting in that's not respecting nature that's not respecting nature it's an, it's not a favor for nature. Many of us has this picture in our heads that um, if you break a twig, if you do something you are you are doing something wrong. You're not having respect, you're not showing respect. But at the same time, you, they put no energy in talking about large-scale forestry. Um, yes, we need the forest industry, but we must think about how we um, judge people out in the woods. That's what I think. Well, my fire seems to be burning out here. I need to need to get myself need to get myself some firewood. So I guess I can can find some some uh, just uh, some twigs somewhere. Here we have some. Stop right there, criminal scum! Forest is, it is linked to the, to the climate issue. Um, what I meant, what I said before was that the industry here in Sweden, the forest industry, has managed to take, to make the climate issue, to use that as a tool uh, for more um, production, for harvesting more forest. So that's what I mean. That's that's wrong. That's wrong. There's a lot of discussion now uh, internationally, but also in Sweden regarding the Amazon destruction of the, of the Amazon rainforest. But before we have we have our opinions on that, let's let's have a sober look on what is what we are doing to our forests here in Sweden. Can we make something different? Can we have a better balance? Is it really rational the way we are doing it right now? Okay, <laughs> but I wish you a, a nice day and uh, uh, see you hopefully in a couple of days. So, take care. <laughs>